our goal today is to demonstrate technologies to meet warfighter requirements with the Utah Air National Guard here at the 151st Air Refueling Wing to meet ABMS requirements within the JADC2 strategy. Our relationship uh, with the Utah Air National Guard has been critical as it enabled us to rapidly identify and meet warfighter needs and then demonstrate them in ground demos and future live fi events. That relationship is critical so that we can move forward rapidly to demonstrate bridge tanker capabilities at the tactical edge to meet those warfighter needs. And the value then leads to just a better capability for our warfighters to make them more survivable, more lethal, and more connected. For the demo today, I'm pretty proud of the team and really what we brought was, we brought a modular open system architecture approach that builds upon AMC's existing program of record for the situation we're in as tool in the KC-135, which is called real-time information in the cockpit. So we brought in some advanced computing, we brought in some additional waveforms, we brought in some uh, the idea of kind of an app store to bring tailored and customized applications that would be value added to the crew members. And we built that as a complete package. One of the core building blocks of that was our Rosetta software and, and some of our cross-domain solutions. So you have basically data links and communication pathways to communicate to the tactical edge with other players. And then you have the way that baseline tool set that allows the air crew on the KC-135 to see that information for their air crew SA. And we fused it in a way through the gateway process in that guard to make information far more useful to the air crew and stuff that we could take and push out to the tactical edge and those users that are, that are prosecuting at that tactical edge. What that means, we got the information to the right place at the right time for the right purpose. To make the tanker a gateway node, to be able to move information across the battle space, reach into contested areas because of their presence to being near, and also preparing those entering into that battle space to have awareness that they've never had before and had to build it for themselves. Con Zero Space has the technologies and leaning forward for the connected battle space futures. Air Force's Air Battle Management System. We're participating with the Army and the Navy and their respective means of connected battle space. And the ultimate goal is to prove exceptional capability for all of our players, increased effectiveness and safety for the combined joint all-domain command and control architecture. In the end, as time and technology matures and Collins Aerospace's dedication to the effort of the KC-135, you may could even make the KC-135 a different kind of contributor to the battle space than historically just a gas contributor.